Once you've been diagnosed with sleep apnea and prescribed continuous positive airway pressure, or CPAP therapy, you're on your way to taking control of your sleep disorder and, more importantly, your life. CPAP therapy is the most effective and most widely accepted treatment for OSA, obstructive sleep apnea. It's been shown that successful CPAP treatment may help OSA sufferers feel more energetic and alert, and it often relieves other symptoms they may be experiencing. It can also help reduce the risk of the more serious complications and health risks associated with sleep apnea, including diabetes, heart disease, obesity, and high blood pressure. With CPAP, you're taking a huge step towards a healthier life. So, where does your journey take you now? Well, the first stop is probably at your medical equipment provider, who will provide you with your CPAP system, make sure that you're comfortable with its operation and cleaning, and fit you for your mask. Your medical equipment provider will show you how to fit your mask for best results, how to adjust the straps, and how to connect the air tubing. I can't emphasize enough how vital it is that your mask fits right. If it doesn't fit right or you, you simply can't get comfortable over time, then contact your equipment provider for a new mask fitting. Now, you've probably learned that there are a few different types of masks available, including nasal masks, nasal pillows, and full face masks. Your doctor, your sleep specialist, or medical equipment provider will assist you in finding the mask that's right for you. Now, although this may be the first time you've met your medical equipment provider, it's definitely not going to be the last. You should consider your provider a trusted partner in your CPAP therapy, taking care of you and your equipment over time. Your provider is there to help not only with replenishment of your supplies, but also to answer questions that you may have about your therapy. In addition to your mask, you'll leave your provider with your own CPAP system. The good news is that unlike older devices that may have been large and noisy and so ugly you wanted to just stick it in your closet and forget about it, which many patients unfortunately did, newer devices have been designed to eliminate all of those issues, making it easier for you to transition to CPAP therapy. They're slick and compact, so they blend in easily into the look of your bedroom. In fact, they look as natural on your bedstand as a clock radio and its size makes it much more portable than older models, which means that you can easily bring it along when you travel. And you really should, so that you have that restful sleep no matter where you are. The other thing that's really different about the newer models of CPAP systems is how quiet they are. It's kind of funny that after years of struggling to sleep with someone who snores heavily and wakes up gasping, the biggest problem for your sleeping partner may be to get accustomed to the quiet. New motor design reduces sound to a whisper, so your sleep environment remains quiet and restful for both you and your bed partner. The newer models are also much easier to use. No complicated setups that require computer expertise just to operate. The color screen and large display will make your unit easy to use. And then, once you're in bed, the flexible tubing will move with you as you change positions through the night. That's because the tubing is lighter and smaller, giving you more freedom, helping you have a more natural sleep. When the tubing moves with you, your mask will stay put so that you can stay asleep. So what's it going to be like to sleep with CPAP? And how long will it take to feel the results? Will I need to use this every night? Well, those are always the questions people have. And even though you've already had either a half or a full night of CPAP therapy during your titration portion of your sleep study, using your own device in your own home and in your own bed will be different. It might be the first time that the significance of this life-changing step actually takes hold. So as you get ready for that first night, remember, people react differently to treatment. It may take time to get used to falling asleep with your CPAP system, but you will, and it will get easier. Some people will wake up the next day feeling like they've had their first good night's sleep in a long time. But for most people, it'll take longer to adjust, from a couple of days to as much as two weeks. 
If you fall into the second category, you must give it time to work. And yes, use it every night. Think about it. If you were trying to get in shape, you wouldn't expect results in one day. You would know that it's going to take days, even weeks, to see and feel the changes. It's a series of small steps and daily commitment. And it's the same with CPAP. Over time, you may feel more energetic and more alert, and soon you'll be relieved of other symptoms that you may have been experiencing, like daytime drowsiness, poor concentration, morning headache, or memory loss. And best of all, you'll have the power to effectively control your sleep apnea, meaning you'll be able to sleep more and do more. A key part of successful CPAP therapy is maintaining your system and its components, including replacing supplies based on a predetermined replacement schedule. By taking care of your device, you'll not only increase the life of your machine, you'll also have better results. Beyond that, make sure you follow the advice of your equipment provider and refer to your user guide for details on how to care for your device and mask including when to replace supplies such as your mask frame, filter, and tubing.